The pursuit of the month of Ramadan is a pursuit of general blessing in your life. And the concept of barakah in Islam is a really important concept. And I do want to spend just a few minutes on it. Barakah is this one thing we all ask for each other. In fact, we say it at times in a ref reflexive way. It's like a reflex that we say it, not actually thinking about what we're asking. You know, you meet me, you say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Someone's getting married, you say, Barakallahu lak. May Allah bless this union. Barakah is this thing that we, it's a part of us. It's the one thing that we're all asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for. And therefore when you hear the words of the Prophet sallallahu where he says, Shahru Ramadan, Shahru Mubarak. The month of Ramadan, the Prophet defines it as being the month, its totality. It's A to Z, it's Alif to Ya, it's beginning to its end. Its whole conceptualization is barakah, its blessing. Now barakah means three things. Barakah, it means that if there's something that you believe is little, negligible, small, it's, it's not something great. I wish it was more. You know, I wish I had more money. I wish my health was better. I wish, you know, um, that Allah would cure my children or my, my, my wife. I wish that, you know, the, the, the time that I had wouldn't go by so quick. I wish that I could have barakah in this, this, this or this. That concept is that sometimes we think something is not enough and we underestimate its value initially. But Allah promises that if barakah is placed in it, that that which we think is negligible, not enough, too little, will become extra and greater than what we need. That's the first part of barakah. The second part of barakah is that if you have something and you think, MashaAllah, this is good enough. I ha Alhamdulillah, I always wanted this car, I got this car. I always wanted that home, Alhamdulillah, we got the home. We put, we put the thing, we bought the house, Alhamdulillah, it's ours now. The thing that I did want, I received it. But now I want to preserve it. Because I don't want it, don't, oh, yeah Allah, don't let them scratch my car. Yeah, yeah Allah, you know, uh, uh, yeah Allah, don't let the rains remove my roof tiles. Yeah Allah, don't let, you know, there's something I have that I am appreciative of. Alhamdulillah, Ya Allah, you've given me that, I'm happy with it. I'm not asking for more, but oh Allah, don't take it away from me. Alhamdulillah for my children. Alhamdulillah for my job. Alhamdulillah for my life and my home. I'm, I'm happy with it. But now, barakah isn't to increase it, it's to preserve it. The third aspect, of course, that relates to barakah is where we don't have anything at all. It's not that I have something little, it's not that I have something enough, it's that I have nothing and I don't know where I'm going to get it. And each and every one of us at one point or another, we come to a point where we say, I don't know where and how I can fix this thing. I, can't, I, I, I don't know how I'm going to get married. Where is this guy on a shining bright horse that's supposed to come and save me from the evil venomous dragons of the world? I don't see him. There, I, can't, I don't know where my rizq will come from. I can't envision learning to read the Quran better than I'm doing it now. I can't, I, I, I don't know how this will change for me. I can't see it changing. And therefore that's barakah, where Allah brings to you what you yourself could not conceive could ever arrive to you. In your wildest dreams, you couldn't imagine that this would come in that amount, in that way, from that person. All of a sudden, that person who you did not, you know, you never in your life thought that this person would be kind to me, they were kind. It's incredible. Something changed their heart. My a husband and wife, their whole life at odds with each other. And all of a sudden, Baraka enters and they become better than they were before even they got married. In a way, it's even better than our honeymoon. I, I don't know how. But Baraka can arrive and change 
circumstances. And those three aspects of barakah are each and every one of us, each and every one of us is in need of them.